For you are glorious. For you are glorious. And worthy to be praised. You are the light. How are you doing? It's been a while. We need to catch up. That is enough. Let's just enjoy the worship for a little bit. Enjoy the worship with me for a bit. I know what you spoke. I know. More than I can imagine, and that is enough. And that is enough. That is enough. Yeah. Jesus. Father, we welcome you. We pray. May you take absolute control. Thank you for joining us today. <coughs> thank you. Thank you all for joining us today. Unfortunately, we might not be able to do um, YouTube today because it's a um, two-way um, session today. So straight after this, we will upload it on YouTube. So yeah. Ah. You are in In every service, you are enough. Hi, hi, Kelvin. How are you doing? Join me to worship. Join me to worship. Join me to worship. Thank you, Jesus. Rakatayandorobo sheketa. Rabasi anderebe sheketa yandarabam. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We welcome you, O oh God. Father, Lord, we welcome you. We welcome your presence. May the atmosphere be charged by your Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. We pray, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, for your presence, for your touch, for your transformation, for your covering, for your strength. Please come and take absolute control. It's not about us, it's about you, oh God. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Master Jesus, come. Come and have your way, our teacher, our advocate, our refuge, our strong tower. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Masata. Reke tayando robo sheke tayandaraba. Endarayando robo sheke tayandiribi andaraba. Anderebe sheke taraba si anderebe sheke ta. Thank you for your victory. Thank you for your victory. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your peace. Thank you, Jesus. Rakatayando robo seketa. I kayando robo seketa yandaraba. I vava rakatayando robo seketa. Hey, mama, 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 mama. Rakatayando robo seketa yandiri bi yandaraba. Hey, kayando robo seketa. Please help me to worship. Help me to worship. For there's so much He's done for us this this week. Many were, were came, many came, many um, went to sleep with us, but they did not wake up today. 
a lot of people went to bed thinking the following day is another day for them but they were not able to be privileged like how we were a lot of people went to the hospital just for checkup and they did not return we are privileged to be in his presence today let's give him all the glory if you can give me a few minutes to join me to thank God for how far he's brought us. I want us to re reflect on how good he has. He has been to us. I want us to reflect on his provision, on his kindness, his mercy, his protection over us, our families and our children. He has delivered us from the plans and the works of the enemy. This was not the plan of the enemy for us. This is not what the enemy expected us to be in. The enemy thought he has had his way with us, but the Lord proved him wrong. The Lord arose and fought our battles for us. The Lord arose and stood in the gap for us. I want us to thank him. I want us to thank him and praise him. Yes, there are days we are so distracted. There are days we are so busy that we don't get enough chance, enough time to reflect and to thank him. Let today, let this minute be an opportunity to welcome the Holy Spirit around you. We welcome the Holy Spirit around us. We call upon his name, Jaira. We call upon his name, Yahweh. We call upon his name, Merciful King. We call upon his name, I am that I am. We call upon his name, our deliverer, our advocator, our refuge, our strong tower. Ah, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, Raphael. Shekinah glory, there is none like you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Masata. E masoko to yandere be sheketa. Rabasi andoro bo sheketa yandaraba. E kaya andoro bo shekera basi ta yandoro bo. Aya vava rakato yandiri bi yandaraba. E ri andere be sheketa yandiri bi yanda. Aya vava 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 vava. Reketa yandoro bo sheketa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. Ah, we bless your holy name and we honor your holy name we pray father lord put us aside and take absolute control i bless your holy name father i thank you for being who you are to us oh god i thank you for your mercy i thank you for your glory i thank you for your restoration i thank you for your healing i thank you for your empowerment we release your power we release your anointing to take absolute control we send your presence forth into various homes to encamp around your people People, our children, our loved ones, our communities, our nations. Arise, oh God, and cause your glory to be seen. Arise and cause our enemies to scatter. Arise and favor us, oh God. Arise and teach us your ways, Holy Spirit. Guide us, oh God. Our strength, our breath, everything is in your hand. And there's nothing we can do without you. So we say, God, we're going to wait on you, Father Lord, to take absolute control. We commit today's service into your hands, session into your hands. We say take absolute control over the people watching, over the people coming to speak. I pray committing our dear brother into your hands and into your care to take absolute control. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving amen hello 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 just before i welcome my brother i just want to do a quick introduction as we usually do thank you all for joining us today uh, my name is elizabeth lamte as you all know um so basically this is champions network we film about faith testimonies encouragement and life after covid um today is a, a day that i'm so i'm so thankful i'm so thankful to have our brother to join us today um as you all know his name is mike michael he's a minister minister michael and today he's going to give us a piece of his testimony i know he's got a lot of testimonies but today is going to be very sweet very short i pray that we will take something away and this testimony will bring transformation in our heart and draw us closer to god and that's what we do as you all, all know 
um i just wanted to introduce our um our youtube channel to you so if you've missed a few sessions or you came on late um don't forget we always upload our videos on youtube sometimes we go on live we've got random videos over there so if you're feeling discouraged you want something to equip you or something to reflect on just jump onto our youtube channel which is champions network testimony hour champions network testimony hour our instagram is champions network as you all know and please we have other um activities that goes on if you want something to um to do to support if if you want something to um, get yourself busy in or to support the kingdom of God, please DM me and I can connect you right away. Um, just before we start, um, let me quickly add my brother. Uh, one of the people I look up to so much, um, this brother of mine, um, anytime we meet, it's, it's, it's jokes. It's jokes. Um, I'm just inviting him right now. Bear with me. Yes, yeah, so this brother of mine, anytime we meet, it's jokes. And today, he's honored the invitation for how long? How long now? Uh, all right, Michael. I think. You need to accept. Hi everyone, can you all hear me? I hope I can be heard. Oh no. Sorry guys, I'm trying to add um, my color. maybe the network all right let me just give a little bit of worship in the background i'm in the a worship face today <laughs> don't laugh don't laugh i told you this my brother anytime we meet it's <laughs> laughter please control yourself today be disciplined So oh, today we've got my personal brother, someone I look up to really, really, really well. I really look up to him. And just this week we were talking about, I was telling him, you know, I hate to say it to him, but, you know, I was telling him how much I really look up to him on some of the things I've kind of reviewed about him. And, you know, just the fact that he doesn't care, like, he's just one of those people that if you've got an issue with him, he doesn't care. All he does is to laugh, even when you're like angry with him or he does not care. He's got a heart of gold. I mean, um, if I can remind you, my wedding, I was I was being a spoiled brat. I said I wanted I wanted my wedding, I wanted to be happy, and he, he really made me happy on my um wedding day. I'm saying it so that you guys will have um a rough idea of who this brother of ours is. The kind of heart he has and i'm so happy to have you here today michael minister michael sorry let me bring the minister into it minister michael um, yes my dear sister <laughs> introduce ah. yourself and take the platform thank you very much thank you thank you thank you so thank you so much it's perseverance that has got me here um mm -hmm. normally thursdays i have service but when yeah. my sister demands for me to come it's like i have no choice i and told she you actually, he spoils me he spoils me she, so. she actually leaves me no choice um, before we start if you can just share um the link to a few people that you can you know yeah. i'm sure i'm sure they will be they will be blessed yeah. hi ella and hi jikumwa hi everyone who is on um I will, i'll make this one very brief because like i said um we have service as well so right from here we i'm jumping straight into service cool i thought you'd be coming to service with prince prince aj i thought you'd be coming i'm, I'm still expecting you i am i am in the building tonight is going to be spectacular but anyway let me not talk about tonight's service we are here for champions network 
I came for Champions League too. When, when my sister invited me, um, uh, I was thinking about a lot of things, what to share, what to um, 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 deliver and stuff like that. Um, please, if you're on, please share with your friends and loved ones. Let's invite as many people as we can to, to join so that they can also be blessed. Hi, Manuela. Hi, Prince. Hi, everyone. Thank you for so much for joining. Anyway, oh, so... The, the the theme that I chose to today was grace, 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 grace. Yeah. Because I am a product of grace. I am a product of grace. Mm -hmm. If it was left for uh, <clears throat> someone who deserves something, I don't deserve anything. I don't deserve to stand in front of anyone to preach, to prophesy, to sing, to even pray for. Like, I don't deserve anything. I don't even deserve to be a Christian, to be fair. I don't even deserve to be forgiven of my sins. Mm -hmm. I, I don't deserve anything. But... The grace of God has located me. Amen. And the, the truth is, now I don't take the grace for granted. Now I hold on to the grace as much as I can. Amen. The grace of God is what has kept me. So someone might ask, what, what is the grace of God that this man is talking about here? No, what, what, what is the grace? The, the grace is what Jesus Christ brought when he came. Mm. So that you and I will be able to go in front of the king of kings and the law of laws. Because back in the day, he only took the high priest in the human factor to go yeah. bef just before christ came only to the high priest to go into the holy of holies yeah. when he was going even him crown they would tie a rope around his waist uh -huh. yes yeah. and when he went when he went to the first chamber they would put some bells there so when they hear the bells were ringing bang 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 they know it's alive yeah uh, when he gets into the second chamber the bell the bell is ringing it means he has he's really clean he has really asked for forgiveness and he is pure he is without mm -hmm. sin and mm. when he's able to go into the holies of police and come out, you know, hey, Charlie, he's a champion priest. As for yeah. him, yeah. he is able to go in front of the king of kings and come back. What, yeah. what, what a powerful priest. But mm. now, you and I, we don't only go into the holies of police. Now, mm -hmm. we actually have God living in us. Uh -huh. And that is the grace that I'm talking about. That is the mm. grace that I'm talking about. And mm. I'm a product of grace. Um, I would say, uh, the giftings that I have, the blessings that I have, everything that I have, it's not by my will. It's not by my might. It's not by anything that I have. So, there, are, Sister Liz, the reason why I chose this is because there are some people still living under the law. Mm. They still live under the law. They still think what they do is what brings the glory of God down. Mm. No, no, no. I'm not saying you should go and mess up. Yeah. But yeah. if you fully submit to the Holy Spirit, so he connects true. you to Jesus Christ. It's one, so when he connects you to when he connects you to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ connects you to God. Mm. You get what mm. I mean? So yeah. when you are under the grace, naturally you are without sin. Mm. Why mm. am I saying this? I've been. I'm a pastor's child. Many of you know. PK, PK, PK. <laughs> my dad, my dad is a pastor. Yeah. And I was born into the work. You know. I grew up knowing nothing but the work of God. I was lucky and blessed enough to know that um, at a young age, I was going to do the work of God. So all my life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I remember when I was like um, four years old, four, five, six, either one, I was really young anyways. Yeah. A, a prophet, a, that, that time a prophet was really hard to come by, but we had, we had this prophet in Kumasi called um, Reverend Bwedi. Very, very popular man back in the day my dad's friend he came to the church and i remember he told me he, he now nah, he was praying he was praying he was praying and he stopped and he was like i saw for kwame that's my dad he's like so kwame there is so much hope in your son um i can see him standing in front of a large crowd me large crowd what? which <laughs> crowd are you talking about me because then i was looking at myself and my status even school i wasn't even doing that well so which loud crowd is this man talking about here <laughs> I, I, I can see you standing in front of a, 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 a huge, large crowd and you are, you are holding a flag and wh wherever you hold, a f you, you point the flag, the people will go, this, that, and the third. And I was like, oh, what is this man talking about, really? Okay, we live to see. We'll see what happens anyways. Wow. Wow. So, boom. Now, we are here. I stand in front of large, large crowds. Yeah. Um, by the grace of God, I've done three live recordings. I have two mm -hmm. albums. Um, when I, by the grace of God, through me and um, um, other people, we have a ministry, you know, which is helping deliver people 
um, 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 draw people closer to God, fast forward. So, this is what I'm talking about, the grace. But, Sister Liz, what I would like to share tonight yeah. is the process. The process. The, the process. process. The process. Oh. The process. Give it to us. It's been a very, very tough journey. Yeah. I'll be... I'll be as open as I can. It's Please. not been easy. There are times that I have questioned, is God really with me? Mm. Is Did God really call me? Is, is mm. God really my friend? Because if God yeah. is my friend, why am I going through all these things? Like, mm. I've questioned myself so many times. I've questioned God so many times. I've questioned... Because the process sometimes is so painful... Yeah. And it hurts to the core. Hey. And even though I was a Christian, I never really understood certain things. So I, I was feeling it the more. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, was, it was a really painful thing. Like, betrayal. Hey. Hmm. Gossip. My sister. Lies. Deception. Rejection. Yeah, death, breakups, like a, a whole lot of things that we go through. Why, why are you smiling, my sister? Then fell off. So, <laughs> I told you <laughs> something. I can't. <laughs> a whole, a, <laughs> a whole lot of things. The, yeah. the truth is, no one told me that this was going to be the process for you to get to where God wants you to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They so, don't tell you, do they? They don't, they don't tell you. Them. They don't tell they you. Do no one tells you. It's like, doctor, but they don't. They don't tell you how. Yeah, you know. it's like I can. I can see. I can see you are flying an airplane, but as yeah. to that, how you're going to get into the uh, flying school, yeah. uh, pilot school, as to yeah. whether you're going to get in, fail some exams, and pass. No one tells you the process. No. So no, no. I was told the end result, but the process was hidden from me. As yeah. this is. That's wow, I what I want to share. The process, okay. the process. It's been really tough. I won't lie to you. It's been really tough. There, mm -hmm. there, there are a lot of things very, very personal and dear to me. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, you are right. How to even pay for the flying school? How to pay? <laughs> even that one, they don't tell you. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> it was only when you go there. And the, and the reality smacks you in your face and you're and, like, hey. And, and then it slaps you. Pa, 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 pa. Wow. Hey. Wow. Jesus Christ. Jesus, wow. like, ha, the whole thing is so very intense. And yeah, that is what I've, I, I want to share tonight, you know. So when I, when I talk about grace, this is what I mean. Yeah. I hit rock bottom, rock bottom in my life. I've done it a couple of times. The last one that I hit, oh, wow. sorry. Said you can't tell. It's not obvious on you. Yeah, it's not obvious. Yeah, I hate the. Rock. I, I was broken. I was, mm -hmm. I was in pain. I was in agony. I lost loved ones. You know, um, through death and other means, and it was like my whole world was just falling apart, and I did not know what to do. I did not know where to go. I. I was I was shocked emotionally. I was shocked mm -hmm. physically, psychologically, mentally, spiritually, and I didn't know where to turn to. I had two options. It was either I reject my God, yeah, and enjoy my life because that was going to give me some physical healing, like real quick, you know, or I go mm -hmm. through the pain. So I was speaking to when I hit, when I when I got when it got there because I lost my grandma and I lost something else, you know. That I like to keep personal. Uh, hello, Auntie, <laughs> and I, lo I, I lost <laughs> my another, another loved one, who, which uh, that one I would, I would like to keep personal. And is it like it, a relationship or sister Lizzo, How do you know? <laughs> so I didn't say anything. Is it like because it's it's good to keep it real? Because maybe someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was a relationship. Yeah, it was. It was a relationship. Yeah. It was a relationship. And it was so unexpected when it happened. It was just. Oh, you're strong. It's, it's part yeah, of life. Yeah, you know, you know, it, it was so unexpected. And it, it, just, it just wasn't that all. It was 
the, the aftermath, what was happening after that, you know, that was, that was what was making it very painful to live through. And I remember I went to one of my fathers. <laughs> I went to one of my fathers and I was like, Daddy, this thing is so painful. What do I do? <laughs> this thing is so painful. I don't know what to do. Uh, Miss Tego, Mrs. Tego, me Pacho, me Chow. I was like, this is so painful. What do I do? How do I get, how do I get away from this? Yeah. Is, there, is there any ways? Please help me. You are a man of God. I know you are. You are very experienced. How do I go through this? And this man sat there. He was like, Michael, you have to go through the pain. I'm sorry. I can't help you. <laughs> hey, uh, Ella, Ella. <laughs> Listen, with your hair and you're going please, through, please. and it's only face to go to visit our brother, he will help him because it's <laughs> that, that one here, that one here, that one, sister Liz. Let me tell you this no matter what you do, the pain was still there. Yeah, that one there, it will take a while. You can't sleep, you can't eat, you can't Not think, appetite, you can't, yes. you can't, and, and this, this man of God told me, he was like, son, you have to go through this. And I'm like, but daddy, it's so painful. How do I go through this? I don't want to. Please, you are a man of God. Can God not help me? I want God to help me, please. Sister Ajua, Sister Ajua, uh, uh, Ajua sir, please, how are you doing? Yeah, Chama, sorry. God bless you so much. Uh, that's that's my sister who was also joined us. Oh wow! Anyway, so I was like, "How do I get through this?" I want, I want to. And it was like, unfortunately, it's going to be more painful. You just have to endure and make sure that you don't backslide. I so, was like, so, 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 my, Michael, you're yeah. telling me that there are some pains that you have no choice than to go through. In you have no choice. You have to go. No, nah, if 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 you want, it's like exams. It's like you're in school. Yeah, that's how I see life now. You are in school before you go from year year five to year six, or let's go to even Ghana. Before you, you before you progress to the next level, you write an exam. Without that exam, if you write that exam, it's two. You have two two options. You have yeah. to either pass to go ahead or fail or and remain where you mm. are so it's the same thing if mm. you want to advance in life there are some pains there are certain things that i i know for a fact that you have to go through and when you go through that is why i chose the scripture james chapter 1 verse 12 james 1 12 james read chapter 1 verse 12 brother. let's read it that is why i chose that scripture people are afraid of the and uh, um, the pain because sister Liz, i'm telling you the pain is so painful that this is not even the right word, but the pain the is so is painful. painful. <laughs> <laughs> the pain is so painful that no, no, no let, let me let me even give you a let me give you an example. Even mm. Jesus Christ, when he was praying at the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed, Ah, God, my God, please, God, 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 yes, ask for this yes, pain. Yes. I can't do it. God, I why? This, please, it, please, can 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 you take this thing away? Because now. Satan was showing him exactly what was going to be done to him. Yeah. Satan was showing Jesus Christ, hey, if you try to deliver everyone, this is what will happen to you. Mm. I will ship you the, the worst shipping that any man has ever endured on this earth. That is yeah. one. I will put stones on your head. And two. I will strip you naked. The, the Jesus Christ story that we have been seeing, you know, they put mm -hmm. something. Jesus Christ was naked. His thing was there. Out there. Sister Liz, don't, don't laugh. It's not funny. I'm not and laughing. I, after that, he said, I will disgrace you. They will, this, someone who has not brushed their teeth will be spitting people. People will be spitting on your face. You can imagine yeah. morning breath. And people are, it's not just talking on you. They are spitting on your face. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to do. To, are you sure you want to go through this? Yeah. Even Jesus Christ, he said, God, please, can you take this cup away from me? Um, yeah. 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 So you see, there are certain things that I would like to say that you wish that you don't go through it. 
Mm. But I will encourage you. I will encourage you. It might be painful, but it will end you well if you go through it because it will advance you from one stage to the other. Someone, um, anti, wow, anti sent the scripture. Yes. yes. Blessed, is the one. Blessed is the man who endures what? Temptation. For when he has been approved, it means when you go through the temptation, when you endure and you go through and you end up on the other side, you are now approved. And when you are approved, Amen. it just doesn't end there. The Bible says he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised those who love him. Amen. My goodness. So you see how much, what it, how it is worth going through that pain. Yeah. Eh? Sister Liz, because I was begging, please, is there a way that I can go away from this pain? Because yeah. Sister Liz, everyone knows how much I love my grandma. I love yeah. my grandma too. But she, she, she took care of me and I lost her. It just didn't end there. I was losing people that I loved. People yeah. that I thought I would never lose. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah. was just too much for me. And I was praying. And I was, I was begging God, God, please, this pain is too much. The shame, the, the, the yeah. disgrace, well, everything is, is too much. God, how do I get through this? Please, help me, God. I was, I was, I was, I, I wanted a way out. But the man said, my son, go through this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. And Sister Liz, it's the best thing that I ever done in my life. Amen. I went through it. It was painful, like I said. It hurt. It was long. <laughs> mm. It was it was long. Yeah. And the thing is, it just doesn't heal like that. No. It takes, takes it takes a while. And every day, as you're living, as you're living through, as you're living through, as you're believing in God, as you are, as you are, as you are allowing God. So what happened now? What happened now? Let, let me let me let me not let me not digress. Let me come oh, back here. Bro, bro, Mike, I know you had yeah. a good thing. So I know you were doing all like amazing work trying to pull yourself through. Will you yeah. say that your pay? Despite the fact that you had the giftings, you had this these um, declarations mm -hmm. set upon your life, and you were trying um, to build up your faith in God, will you say that there was this pain, particular mm -hmm. pain, is birthing out mm -hmm. another part of in you that is causing you to see the world differently, or will you say you you're still stuck with the pain? Now, I am not only healed; I am better. Amen. Because. After I endured, Sister Liz, now I preach. Yeah. Before that, I was just a minister. Yeah. I was singing. Minister. Yeah. But now I preach. I pray yeah. for people to be healed. Wow. I prophesy to people. I, I pray for deliverance for people. God is my witness. Everyone who's on this platform, who knows me and my ministry and what I'm doing right now, Amen. they can testify of what the Lord is doing in my life right now, right yeah. this present. I can go and show you the church is going on right behind me. I am in the office right now. Yeah. Why is the church is going on? Before that, there was nothing like this. That's ministration. That's it. I, I, there was nothing. So you see, after I went through it, now I became better. I became stronger. Amen. And now, I am able to even advise people because now I have that experience in my it's in my pocket. When yeah. I see people are going down that line, I tell them, hey, be careful. Don't, don't, don't do this, don't do it. Yeah, now it's part and parcel of me now. Yeah. So you see, I thank God that I went through it. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I thank God I went through it. So I don't know if the sound is coming through from the church. Can you can not you hear me clearly? Yeah, you can hear it, but not too much. It's all right. Um it's okay, Michael. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let me let me try and see if I can change my position. Maybe it might help. Is it better now? Much better. 
or do you know it's okay it's okay it's okay i just want to see if i can tell them to lower it down just it's okay. it's okay it's okay we can hear you because it's very distracting give me a minute just give me a minute yeah. okay wow guys wow 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 i'm i'm so happy to hear when people are doing things and god is using people and you're seeing them you know ministering shouting praying you think that's it they just arrived but this is to tell you that you know no matter your degree no matter where you were birthed out from this is um this this is um uh, people, someone whose father was 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 a minister and sometimes you think oh they, they you know you know they have it all together it's fine oh as for you when you you go through struggle or trials your father or your family can pray for you and you'll be okay but this is somebody who god has separated and is taking him on a path of you know training and today we've heard it for ourselves that not only has it made it transformed him it's made him better so I think that's the, that's what God is looking for. God is looking for somebody who will go through the trial, open up themselves, endure, and become better in order to pour into people. So this is, is a, a typical example for us as to how we need to live our life, how we need to open up for God to train us and not to give up. So my brother. Sister Liz, I'm let, me continue with this. Let, me, let me continue with this quickly. I'm so, um, so like I said, like I said, yeah, hmm. when I was going through this, another man of God advised me. Do you know what he told me? No. Tell he me. Said, Why don't you get more girls? They will help you get over it. Yes. <laughs> yes. You've opened your mouth. Yeah. So when you're going through this, you'll be hearing voices. Voice. People that you trust will come and tell you some nonsense. And if you if you listen to it, yeah, but glory be to God that I stood on my feet. Thank God. God knows that oh. I did. I stood my grounds. I stood on my faith. I, I held on to God. And then something started happening. Doors were opening. Hey. Wow. Now, we started this IG life. There are some people on who, who bear witness. Yeah. We'll finish praying. Okay, now, men of God, prophesy. I'll, I'll scroll through. Oh, I can see this, this, that, and the third. I can. Let me let me share one testimony. There is this guy who came on. I'm not going to mention the name. He came on, and as soon as I saw him, I was like, "My brother, I can see you. You, I can see you being stabbed. Let's pray for this guy. Who I can see him being stabbed to death. Let's pray." So we all stopped. It was four of us. We prayed for him, and I, yeah. I told him, "Don't go to, a, don't go for any party, a house party." From then, that was last year. I think it was somewhere in October, November. Don't go for any party from then till December. Yeah. Because I see you going to a party and being stabbed to death. So don't go. That was on Tuesday. We, we used to have prayer when and then. Um, prophesied to him. Saturday, I went for a program in East London. Came home. And I was sleeping mm. comfortably in my bed. When one lady who invited that guy to come on the show on the platform yeah. called me she called me man of god you don't know what happened i'm like what, what happened it's like you see that guy that you you give the word to I yeah was like, yeah well, what happened he went to the party and whilst he was there people started fighting and they started stabbing each other but then now because of what i told him he he, he had knowledge that if he went anywhere close to it he yeah. might be a victim so he ran he off, he so the, the guy called me the guy literally called me the following day in the morning and it was like prophet whatever that you said came to pass da, 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 da. so these are some of the things that were happening and i'll prophesy to people i can see this and sometimes i will ask myself is, is that is that me Hey. So, you mean, so you mean the broken heart led you to? <laughs> you had to go there. You had to go there, sister Liz. Hey. Hey, so... No, but so... um, let I want no. I want to let's go back because you're not giving us the what led you to that bit. What led you into seeing? What led you into drawing closer to God? What did you do? You said something to me off camera and i want you it's such a key and i want you to go there 
you said you you i don't i want to call your mind to it you said after this whole thing it drew you closer to god you said you started waiting on god fasting you've never I done i st i started waiting on god i start now so I, I i don't mind sharing my age i am not that old but i am in my mid 30s i'm in my mid 30s here up until then my little brother i was i was a no you you're my little sister please don't even bring yourself i up until then i was a christian but i really did not know the holy spirit i really did not have that much of a relationship with him personal intimate relationship Wow. Auntie, I'm not I'm not young, I'm I'm older than Lizzie. Do my Listen. Mama, listen. you're not even that old yourself. Sister Liz, I, I really did not have that intimacy with the Holy Spirit. I won't lie. I didn't have it. Why why am I saying that? Like there are a lot of things that would happen that I would I would take for granted. Like it's like you speak to me, but I don't I don't even hear. I didn't, I really did not recognize or know, know his voice like that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. So, there are some people who might be Christians but not have that much of a closer walk with the Holy Spirit. And that's very dangerous. It will, it will end you badly because I am, I, am, I am blessed to have survived and know what I was doing. So, yeah. when that happened, I started reading the scriptures more i started praying more i started doing something that i had never done before i went into a very long fast i became skinny and everyone was coming going through that and being skinny on top you mm. know so people are saying it's obvious Charlie, this thing like this thing is really killing him you know but i i was i was actually i was actually on a daniel's fast for weeks and weeks and through even during that time the things that were happening the miracles, the testimonies, it was just beyond me. And it drew me so close to God. And then I started listening. My dad, my dad, my dad is a pastor, so he'd be telling me, okay, go and listen to this man of God. I'll go, I'll spend days and days and weeks just listening to their tapes, making notes. You know, I he became the I'm, God became everything to me. Everything. He became my everything. Because then I knew. He was the only one that I have. I knew that Amen. all my earthly relationships, in as much as it's good, it's only temporary. It can, you can lose it anytime. So there is one relationship that now I knew was Adamant that I needed, I needed the most. It's that is. And that was the relationship with God. And that is why I built so much on it. I, I held on to it. I gave it my all. And God gave me all. Do you know what I mean? Amen. Yeah, because uh, I mean, grace I, found me. You know, you know, bro. This this thing we're joking about, it we're laughing about, it, but this is some of the things people go through, and they go into depression. Some people end up in the mental home. Yeah, so a, a, fr a friend of mine actually, a friend of mine, he's actually a mental health. Um, he's, he's one of the the health and safety of Boros. He called yeah. me one of one day and he was like, "Now, our Mike, he's an infantry man. He's like, he's like, you Mike, uh, you know that some people are in my hospital who have not even gone through quarter of what you've gone through. So oh. you being there and being sane, it's grace, you know. You need to really thank your God because otherwise, as for you, I know you I would have come to your room every morning to come and check up on you because some <laughs> people are." <laughs> Wow, it's a list. Okay. there are certain it, things we take for granted. We take yes. for granted. Some people just just not too long ago there was a story of someone who committed suicide. Well, his fiance broke up with him. He jumped in there in some way. Either I don't know where he jumps, but he committed suicide. Yeah, 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 yeah. And these are some of the things we go through and we laugh about it. Yeah. Like how we're laughing about it. And 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 now, and now we are we are laughing about it like it's it's nothing. But like God is God who has made it nothing. Gabriela, I, I'm waiting for you at church. Honestly. Um, Honestly. So if, so if you're here, please, and you're going through that 
phase of life or any time like you see someone going through that phase, please give them the support. Or if you yourself, you need support, please find help. Find support. Find help. Like, find someone. Find someone. Find someone. someone. Oh, because Sister Liz, I, I, I promise you, my family was my family was there for me. Hands down. Oh my gosh. My friends, some of my friends, like they and and during that time, a lot of people that I thought were my friends actually proved that they were my enemies. And mm. and that they really hated me. And mm. they were really happy that I was going through my because sister Liz, this is one thing I have understood in life. Your downfall is actually the build up for someone. So as yeah. you're going down, imagine if if you and I were in the same job and you have a position that, that I want. Yeah. What prayer will I pray? That you lose your position yeah. so that I come there. So that, that is life. That's what the Bible says. We wrestle. We wrestle not against. So it means O'Brien, life is a wrestle. It's, it's a yeah. wrestle, whether you like it or not. It's either you fight and pick up your ammo and fight or you are killed. It's a battle. For, yeah. You cannot go to Ukraine right now and just be walking around like we are walking here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Brokina didn't save me, sister. sister God. It is God who saved me. It's God. It's God. It's, it drew you closer to God. It drew you closer <laughs> to God. <laughs> anyway, let, let, me, let me continue. You cannot go to Ukraine right now eh, and mm. be walking around the street like we are walking here. It's not possible. Someone will, a, a sniper will catch your head with a bullet and kill you just like that. Because it's a war front. And we should know that our war is not with guns. We yeah. now fight, we are wrestling against principalities. Let me read, let me, let me, let me, let me open the scripture. And then, and... That's so true. That's so true. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Mm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So it's not people who are actually holding guns. Eh? But we wrestle against principalities. So these are organized bodies who have been in existence since the time began. Since you, Adam and Eve were there. They were also there. So they are very organized, very wise in their dealings. And they yeah. are very powerful. Eh? Mm -hmm. These are the people that we are fighting. And in order for you to gain more power than them, you need Christ. You need the Holy Spirit. Because without him, they will literally finish you. Don't be there and think that you are okay. with You, you need a backing which is stronger than them. Yes. But if you are there and you are working in life, eh, you are working aimlessly without the backing of the Holy Spirit and the angels of God, my friend, you are dead. They will finish you. The time that you are building up, the time that things are working for you, that is yeah. when they will catch you. And so you see, it happens in families. They'll be like, I tell you this man, pa, and yeah. have, he was doing very well. Though. We don't know what happened. All of a sudden, yeah. he got a heart attack. They've killed him. Yeah. yeah. Listen, don't be there for someone to kill you just like that. Just like that. Yeah. You have to rise up. Pray. Yeah, like Pick up the armor of God. Wear it. Read the word of God. Pray, 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 pray. The Bible says we should pray that we do not enter into temptation. You need to pray. You need to fast. Don't wait until you go through problems before you start doing these things. Mm, mm, mm. Mr. Liz, I have mm. just two minutes and I have to go. Mm, but mm. this is what I'm leaving with everyone. That do not wait for something to happen before you enter into it. The grace of God is available for you tonight. Amen. If you do not know Christ, I want to pray with you. Amen. If you are if you are distant from Christ, I want to pray with you that tonight you will draw closer to him because Amen. he is just waiting for you at the entrance. He is waiting to open the door for you to enter. Yeah. And he has been waiting for a very long time. Someone on this platform, the Lord has been waiting for you for years and years and years. Yeah. And now is the time that you turn around. He is just there waiting for you. He, with open arms, my daughter, my son, come to me. I am waiting for you. I, he, and he has been waiting for a very long time. Amen. Don't let him wait in vain. Amen. So I would like to pray with you before I go. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, mm. after this, you can message Champions Network or you can message me. Mm. But listen, either way, 
we are, we are, I'm going to pray with you. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I know that you I are the Son of God. That you are the Son of God. I, I, I thank you for what you have done, you did for me on, in, in Calvary. I thank you for what you did for me in Calvary. Tonight, I freely give myself to you. Tonight, I freely give myself to you. Accept me as your child. Accept me as your child. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. Amen. And if you have drawn, if you have gone far away from, from God, I'm praying for you. Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone on this platform. People who are searching for you, who are yearning for you. Father, I pray that tonight you touch them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you draw them closer to you like never before in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, everyone on this platform who is lost who is going through pain, oh Lord, that they can't even talk about, that they can't even share with anyone. Father, you know them by name. You know everything that they are going through. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that, oh Lord, you welcome them with open arms. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Father, I thank you for this platform. I pray, oh Lord, that it will reach as many people, oh Lord, and be a blessing to people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen and amen. And please, Thank if you have not subscribed, if you have not subscribed to Champions Network, please <coughs> follow them and so that you'll be blessed with all their networks. Thank you so much for, for having me, Sister Led. I have Thank to go you. now. I know you God have to, you. but I want you to introduce your YouTube um, channel and then your Thursday program also. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, my YouTube and Instagram and everywhere is Michael Chow. Michael Chow. Chow is A C H A W. A C H A W, um, and Thursdays we meet to pray. It's going on right now, so you can hear them. I, 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 I'm going to join in. They are praying. They are praying and leaving me here. But I'm going to yeah. join in. We meet every Thursday, seven to nine p.m. Um, the postcode is N seventeen six Q D. N seventeen six Q D. The address is Christ the King Dominion Place. It's a it's a very beautiful white church, um, just off the Tottenham High Road. So if you live in London. Or some people come from outside London. Some some even come from Northampton and that. So please, wherever you are, you can come and come and experience the power of God. Um, um, sister Liz is my sister. I've known her for years, you know. And I thank I thank the Lord for her life and what the Lord is doing in her and for her. But thank you very much for having me. I have to go now. God bless you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Okay. Continue spoiling your cake and Amen. continue. Amen. Bye. 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 Thank you all so much for joining us today. This is Champions Network. My name is Elizabeth Lante. As you all know, our pain birthed out our purpose. This is a dear brother who has transformed dearly. He was ministering, he was doing the things of God, but he did not have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. He thought he was doing his thing and not until he met crisis, he decided to turn his eyes towards God. And today, I must say, I'm happy to see him the way he is. He's much stronger. There's never a time you call him and he will not engage in the word of God with you. So if you're here and you need some form of encouragement, you want to, you're in that phase of your life and you need some form of um, prayers, advice, please don't hesitate to DM me and I connect you. I can connect you to the right people to support you. Do you know what? Don't struggle alone. Don't struggle in, in silence. We've been through it. There are people out there that have gone through it. That's why we're bringing you this platform. This platform is not for us, but it's for you, the God's children, for us to know that he's still on the throne. He says that we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimonies. We encourage people. We fortify people. We pray people for people through our, through what our experiences, what we've gone through and with our testimonies. We want you guys to know that God is God still exists. No matter the situation you're in, he can turn things around for your good. Who knew that today Michael will sit here to say that God is turning things around for his good. And I pray and I believe and I know that it will be your story one day. So please join us each and every Thursday, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And 
we will be happy to also encourage you to share your testimonies with us so if you're here you've got testimonies you want to um share it with you know people to encourage people please dm me and let me know and i'll be more than happy to welcome you on this platform once again if you're here you're discouraged jump onto our youtube channel champions network testimony hours we've also got other platforms that we use to encourage people our whatsapp group it, um, is um, kingdom business where we use to encourage people in your in their business we pray for people privately privately and we share ideas so if you're here and you're into business you've got business ideas you want to share if you want more boost in your business please don't hesitate to dm me and i can add you on um right after this session so i would like to say thank you for joining me can i say a quick prayer our uh, heavenly father we thank you we bless your holy name for today we welcome each and everyone before you father lord and we say preserve and protect everybody father deliver us from all evil i pray may the word that has been shared today bring people into reflection that you are their only help that you are the only one that can father restore and bring us to a point of Place of Father God of total submission. I pray, do your thing uh, in everyone's life, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. As we go, Father Lord, we cancel every plans and works of the enemy in Jesus' name. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. See you once again next week. Bye bye. Mwah.